Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Mohammed, um, and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert your uh, animated uh, PowerPoint presentation to a PDF file without losing uh, this animation. So let's say that we have this very simple presentation uh, that basic that has like a cover uh, 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 slide and uh, two uh, more slides uh, with the content of the presentation and the content of the presentation is in the form of uh, like animated objects so if we uh, go ahead and start the slide show in this presentation and we go down the uh, slides uh, we will see the objects appearing and disappearing in this uh, presentation right um, for the two uh, slides that we have here so what what we would like to do in the uh, uh, like in this uh, tutorial is uh, converting this um, uh, PowerPoint presentation to a PDF file without losing this animation that we just saw. Um, so you might think of directly converting this to uh, a PDF, like using the standard uh, PDF conversion in uh, in, uh, in PowerPoint. So if we go to uh, Save As and then uh, we choose the PDF option down here, and then I'm just going to change the name for the saved PDF file, and I'm just, just going to say save, right? So this gives us uh, this PDF file here, which which has the three uh, slides, but you will see that all the animated objects uh, like overlapped, and apparently this is not uh, like a meaningful uh pdf like you basically lost off your lost lost all of your animation that you wanted to um, actually keep so what i'm going to show you in this uh, video uh, how to convert the uh, this powerpoint presentation into a pdf file like this one here that captures exactly the animation uh, of the uh, powerpoint presentation so uh, the PDF file we like you should expect um, after uh, this tutorial is a PDF file with as many pages as uh, the number of the animations happened in your uh, PowerPoint presentation. So stick to me in this video. I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. It turns out that um, like doing this conversion. Uh, can be done using macros in, 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 in PowerPoint. So uh, in order to do that, we will go to View, then uh, Macros, right? And then just type any random name here for macro, uh, for the macro. So let's. Uh, so I'm just going to going to type test, right? And then I'll, I'm going to hit Create. So this opens up uh, a code uh, window uh, where we are going to uh, put some code here that will do the job for us. So, but before doing that, I'm just going to remove whatever code that is in this um, uh, window, right? Then I'm going to the uh, uh, my browser, and I'll go to this link. I'll leave in the description of the video, uh, and I'm going to copy the code in this video. It's a quite uh, long code, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to take this code here, copy it, then go back to our uh, code window in PowerPoint and simply uh, paste it right so once we do that we will go back to our uh, PowerPoint um, uh, presentation we will go to macro again and we will see uh, two items appeared in this box down here one is called add elements and the other one is called rem elements or uh, which stands uh, for uh, remove elements so I'm going to click on the add elements uh, like item and then I'm going to hit run. So what add element item does, it actually uh, uh, hide the three slides of my presentation and it regenerates all of them as new slide bear uh, animation. Uh, so you'd see a new slide bear animation. So we end up with 15 slides down here. If we take off the original three slides, so that's the 15 slides which contain uh, all the animations that we have in our uh, PowerPoint presentation. Then if we go to file and then save as and we do the standard uh, PDF uh, conversion, we can save it actually um, as a PDF file. And this is the file that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to open this uh, PDF file again for you, uh, which is uh, 
uh, this one yes yeah so here we have uh, our PDF file that has uh, the 15 pages with uh, a page for each uh, 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 animation right this sounds good I mean that could be enough for you but if you would like to also see the page number on the slides uh, so keep watching the video so now I'm going to go back to my um, uh, PowerPoint presentation uh, normally I would uh, if I would like to uh, like save my original PowerPoint presentation then I have to remove all the uh, generated you know extra slides which were necessary for the PDF conversion so now I don't use them since I already have done the PDF conversion so if I go to macros again and then click on the item rem elements or or which stands for remove elements and then hit run so this will return my animated uh, presentation into the original one with the original number of slides right so yeah so let's get back now to uh, the case where we would like to show the uh, page numbers um, so uh, it turns out that if we uh, do add elements and use the regular uh, like page numbering uh, in, in, in PowerPoint so if we go to insert then header and footer and then slide number and if we say apply to all we will see that our uh, like generated slides will have a slide a new slide number for each animation that does something something we would like to uh, like avoid because the last for example the last animated slide should have uh, the number three because in the end we have uh, basically only three uh, slides so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the slide number like the standard slide numbering in uh, PowerPoint and hit apply to all and then in, I'll go back to my macro and I'm going to remove all the uh, generated elements because now we are going to use another code that generates the slide numbers as well right so I'm, I'm just gonna hit rem elements and then run right so now here's our original presentation uh, the second code uh, that we would like to use now is uh, in another link so this link I'll, I'll leave that link also in the description of the video so we are going to go ahead and copy uh, this code here and then I'll go back to my uh, uh, code window here I'm going to select all whatever the code is there and then I'm going to remove that right then I'm going to go uh, I'm going to make right click and then paste uh, I'm going to paste the new code here right so that's that's this new code does the add element and rem element as before but it adds as well the page number or the correct page number for each uh, animated slide so I'll go back now to my um, uh, presentation I'll go to macros and then I'll click on add elements then run so as usual all the uh, presentation uh, slides will uh, appear and now you'll notice uh, this uh, uh, slide numbering here so we said that the last slide should have the number three and that's right and uh, the first the first uh, uh, slide should have the number one uh, apparently and that's also correct uh, one last thing I would like to mention uh, here to you guys is that uh, sometimes you might want your slide number to be uh, at the bottom right corner of the slide or maybe the bottom uh, left corner of the slide so by default from this code you will get the uh, uh, the slide number at the top right uh, sorry the top left corner of the slide uh, so in order to change that it turns out that that's done by uh, playing with the uh, two numbers in your uh, code that you just pasted here so I want you guys to go to this uh, line here uh, which says set OS 8b and then if you go back to this uh, 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 like line you will see uh, four numbers we will play with basically uh, the first uh, two numbers here so the first two numbers here turns out to be the uh, uh, location or these two points or these two values specify the location of the slide uh, uh, number uh, on the slide after running the uh, add element uh, macro um, so it turned out for me that if I change these two number uh, to these uh, values six eight nine uh, sorry yes six nine eight sorry and uh, here five hundred and ten 
it turns out that these two number uh, brings the uh, page number uh, down to the right uh, uh, bottom corner of uh, uh, my slide so um, so I'm going to uh, first remove the generated elements because we don't want our slide uh, to be in the top left corner so I'm just gonna hit remove element and then run so now here's our original slide and then I'm going to go to macros again then add elements then run then if we go down to our uh, slides we will see our slide numbers appearing in the uh, bottom right corner of uh, the uh, presentation so now if we go ahead and uh, go to file then save as then uh, as usual to PDF so I'm just going to give a give a like a, a uh, underscore here and I just give an O to stands for number and then I'm going to save that then I'm going to open my uh, PDF file which is this one here so I'll get my presentation animated with the right slide number so uh, you can share this now with uh, like with your colleagues and uh, it's a nice PDF that has the animation of your slide and even if you you can use this uh, uh, to play your pre presentation if you're working on a machine that doesn't have PowerPoint so if you for example you go to view then uh, you put this PDF in the in the full screen mode right so you typically or basically have uh, your PowerPoint presentation with uh, all the animation uh, that you uh, created right so I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video guys and uh, before finishing up just make sure that before closing your uh, PowerPoint uh, uh, presentation you go to macros then remove elements to make sure that your presentation is in its original you know uh, 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 like shape or whatever then uh, close it probably without saving because we didn't change anything uh, in this uh, uh, presentation so I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, see you